All right, let's talk about bubble sort in this video. Bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm. It is a comparison based sorting algorithm. Traversing from the start of the array to the end of the array is called an iteration. Let us consider an unsorted array with six elements in it. We need to sort the array in increasing order. In this algorithm, we compare the adjacent items and swap them if they are out of order. If we repeat this process for a couple of iterations, the array gets sorted. After each iteration, the largest number bubbles its way to the right of the array. After the first iteration gets completed, 24 will be moved to the right of the array. Since we found the largest element, the length of the array to be processed decreases by 1. We can maintain a variable to track the sorted partition. Let us call it last element. All the elements after last element are sorted. I will keep quiet until the simulation is completed. The program terminates after the array is sorted. Let's take a look at the pseudocode for bubble sort. Bubble sort can be implemented with the help of two looping constructs. We have an unsorted array of items and we need to sort them in increasing order. The variable swaps will be used to have a count of the number of swappings after each iteration. It is initialized to 1 to enter into the while loop. The variable last element is used to mark the end of the unsorted partition. It is initialized to n-1. The while loop runs as long as there is at least one swapping. After initializing both the variables, we will enter into the while loop. We need to reset the number of swaps to zero before starting the iteration. The for loop starts at zero and continues until the end of the unsorted partition. For each iteration, we need to compare all the adjacent elements and check whether they are in the correct order. If they are not present in the correct order, perform a swap operation on the elements. We also need to keep a count on the number of swappings. Increment the variable swaps after each iteration. Finally, we need to decrement the variable last element after each iteration. The number of elements in the unsorted array decreases by 1. Now, let's discuss the time complexity of bubble sort. The worst case scenario for bubble sort occurs when the array is sorted in decreasing order. In that case, the while loop executes for n-1 number of times, because in every iteration, there will be at least one swap, and the internal for loop also executes for n-1 times. Therefore, the worst case time complexity is n square. The best case occurs when the array is already sorted. In that case, the program executes for one iteration only. If anyone has any questions about what we covered in this video, feel free to ask that in the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who you think would find them useful. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. See you guys next time.